welcome to Hang with Hang. In today's video, I am going to share with you the four step framework to get you unstuck. This is something that I use for myself and I take many clients to move through this process. I even teach an online course about this. So first, let me say this. When you are in this space right now, the first thing, please stop judging yourself. I know being stuck sucks. It's not a fun space and that's, that's the reason why I'm going to do the best I can to help you get out of this space, okay? Because I know it's not feeling great in this space to beat yourself up, to try so many things and it's not working, and to constantly running in a circle. So my friend, what you experience right now is a form, it's a form of emergency to some extent. So I'm going to use an analogy of a wound, you know, like when you get hurt, right? It's a physical wound so we can parallel this. So the four-step process is this. One is to stop the bleeding. So whatever that is in your life right now, you gotta recognize which area is bleeding right now, whether it's money, whether it's relationship, whether it's yourself, whether it's your weight, whatever it is, you gotta stop the bleeding. First, immediate, is anxiety, depression, that's one thing. That's one thing we gotta stop right away so it doesn't get any worse. And it can look different for each person. You know, for you, it's maybe meditation, maybe to ask for help. A lot of my clients, a form of stop bleeding is to ask for help. And I'm the person that come in and help them stop the bleeding. So whatever it is for you, sit with it and recognize it and trust your intuitions on this first step. Okay? And the second step, my friend, is to heal the wound. Because once you stop the bleeding, you got to give it time and space to heal it. Okay, chances are whatever situation that you are in right now, you did something that hurt you or something happened that hurt you, right? So then to recognize that you are bleeding, to recognize that it's important for you to put a hand on that wound to stop the bleeding, then, okay, so then how do we heal that wound? And a lot of time, whatever the wound is, is actually not the problem. The problem is how you get the wound. So... I'll give you an example. One of my clients who, uh, an elite athlete, this is years ago, he have a migraine. That's his, his, that's his way of being, uh, you know, that's the bleeding that I'm talking about. It's, it's hinder everything that he does. He's, he did. He's, he was in the U.S. national team. And this headache, this migraine got a hold of him. He has no control of it. He eats healthy. He drinks every, he takes all the drugs that the doctor tell him. But the, the headache will come on when it wants to. He, hasn't, he, he doesn't have control of it. Do you, do you feel that? It can feel very hopeless and helpless. Right? So he seeks for help. So I come in his life. And one of the ways that we stop the bleeding is we've got to stop this immediate headache. So he tried to stop the bleeding by taking drugs. But that didn't work. So then what we did is we tr tried to trace down what caused this migraine in the first place. There's a wound here. How do we heal it? So then... What happened when he was in sixth grade, he played football, there's a physical concussion, and he sat out, he get angry, he got feel guilty, he get sad, he get hurt. Emotionally, there was a turmoil happening inside him. So this is 15, 18 years later, he still feel that pain. So my job is to help him trace back where the wound was and try to shift that energy. And in shifted that energy, release that energy, his migraine dissipate. And that's... It's really that simple. It took us about 45 minutes to get there. And I'm sharing this story not to impress you, but to show you what could possible. So chances are that some struggle that you are going to, that you're experiencing right now, you think is the problem. But a lot of times the problem can be a lot deeper. And you can see this firsthand too. If you're taking um, the, your unstuck course that I create online, you see me work with a client in life. And you see how he's surprised by his challenge is caused by something else. It's, it's actually not the problem, you know. So second is to stop to heal the wound. And once you heal the wound, what do you do after you heal the wound? You gotta give it time to strengthen, right? If you get a cut, your skin needs to strengthen. If you break your legs, you have to reconditioning. You gotta rehab. So whatever that it was that caused you to get this cut, then it's important for you to find a new way not to get cut in the first place. So in my world, this is where we focus on increase your emotional resiliency, to change the way you think, 
to change the way you feel, to change the way you see the world, to change the way you do, and to change your way of being. So you're not suffocate yourself. So you're not constantly creating wound in your life. So that's the third step to reconditioning. And if you haven't already, I would invite you to sign up for your unstuck journey. I, I speak of this in a very thorough way, so you get even more deeper. And my friend, when you get to this place of change the way of being, you come into your authentic self. And it's easy to say to get to come to your authentic self because the reality is, you got to do a lot of work to peel a lot of BS for you to come into your authentic self. And when you do, step four is you take action from a place of alignment and a place of inspiration. And that's how you get out of the rut because chances are you here where you are because you have been trying, right? You have been pushing. You have been willing yourself to do things. You have tried to do 1,000 things right. But my invitation, instead of try 1,000 things right, try one right thing by focus on the right thing. And maybe that one right thing right now is for you to go through your unstuck journey, to go deeper, deep dive into it. And if that feels like something for you, then my invitation is to take the course. You know, that's one of the reasons why I record it, just so you can have access to it. We'll put a link down here for you, okay? So, I'm gonna wa I want to wrap this video up with this, my friend. It's normal. And it's a human thing to be stuck once in a while here and there. That's part of life. The key is how can you get out of the rut and how, you can, how can you move through it graciously and quickly. So if you haven't already, I'm reminding you to stop judging yourself for the space that you're in. Because chances are you are stuck and in a different level right now. That the problem that you're facing right now is maybe beyond your awareness. And when you don't know, you don't know. And you cannot take response for something you don't know. And you're going to see more of that when you take that, that unstuck journey that I created for you. So be kind, be compassionate to yourself. And give yourself time. Give yourself space to heal the wound. When you get the cut, it takes time to heal. When you break your legs, it takes eight weeks, right? When you tear a ligament, it takes up to ten weeks. When your heart broken, it's very different from person. Sometimes it takes three years. Sometimes it takes three months. Everyone is different. You are uniquely different the way that you are. So be compassionate, be spacious, be kind to yourself. And if you feel you need a deeper support, then sign up for your unstuck journey so I can help you move through that. And if you need even deeper support, then apply for a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with me because I'm happy to find out what the bleeding is and help you stop the bleeding, help you heal the wound help you rehab and help you take the next inspire actions so you can live your extraordinary life with love, with grace, and with joy, and with fulfillment because there's much more to life than just what it is right now. My friend, thank you for being in my community. Thank you for being in my world. Thank you for listening to me. If you feel this video helpful, please feel free to share as many so as possible. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and we'll let you know when the next video come up by setting on your notifications. Aloha.